everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing the spring predictions so this is going to be from March 20th to June 20th this year 2020 so let's get started with this reading so how this works if you haven't watched a picard before is you have groups we have five groups here today spirit told me to do five groups and I was like really okay um so five groups here you choose either group one two three four or five whatever you're drawn to today we're not going to have crystals on there so just use your intuition whatever your eyes are drawn to or whatever you feel is most kind of accurate for you and choose from the timestamps down below or in the description box so let's get started so starting off with group number one we're also going to look into each month as well we're also going to look into obviously from march to june each separate month within each group so we're going to get really specific today guys so, so let's get started with group number one Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming for you within the uh, months of spring. Let's see what's kind of coming in for you. So let's have a look at the advice. We have spend time with animals, number 48. So this can also be with friends. This can also be kind of connecting with just spirit, with nature, or just another source that is alive. <laughs> so that's really, really beautiful. I love that. That's so lovely. So you could be kind of an animal natura or like, you know, you could have your own animals. You could have you know, where, wherever you feel is the most necessary for you. So did we get two of these cards? Yes, we have the Numinous Mystery, beautiful. And we also have Trine Flow. So when I pulled that card out, I got really, really hot. So I definitely feel like there's some sort of massive transition phase that you guys are gonna be going through. And it's gonna be a massive change. I'm just gonna move my camera just slightly. That's really bugging me. Okay, I don't know if that made any difference, but <laughs> okay. So let's see what else we have. We have, ooh, Love Partnership, beautiful. We then have happy happy oh my god this is so great and we have communication blue lace agate wow this is beautiful so i love the fact that these two are both blue that's really really nice i think that's really really lovely that means there's going to be a lot of lovely communication coming in so if you guys are single oh my god they're the same they're the same number oh my god 26 and 20 guys oh my god we have 26 26 and 6 okay i'm a proper fan going over these um cards um <laughs> okay so this is really really beautiful um obviously there's going to be a love partnership coming in for you guys i definitely feel like for a lot of you um okay there's a message coming in i'm just gonna go back to that um for you guys if you are looking for love 100 percent relationship coming in here it's going to make you really really happy so between the months of march and june so it could be march it could be april it could be may it could be june you know four of those it could be either one for a lot of you i feel like half are going to be more towards the two months at the start and half of you are going to be two months at the end so that's obviously you take it as it resonates so i'll say really gorgeous communication if you guys have been struggling with communication then I definitely feel like for a lot of you that's going to be resolved and you're going to feel much happier. So if you guys are in relationships and you're not feeling comfortable or you feel like you need to say something, say it now or forever hold your peace. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting how I've got the blue lace agate and I'm literally wearing one of my blue lace agate necklaces. These aren't officially for sale, but if you guys want to grab one, you're always welcome to message me on Instagram or email. I'm going to show you it right now. It's the one of my chakra necklaces. It's got blue, la blue lace agate in it. If it's going to focus hopefully that's coming through sorry about my hands they're wrinkly <laughs> yeah so this is really helping me when i'm doing readings this has helped me like a hundred percent i'm not gonna lie to you guys this has really really helped me because before i was coughing like no tomorrow i had to keep cutting out all the coughs that i've been doing but now like if i need to cough it will just come up naturally and there's no forcing and i feel like i'm not coughing like hardly at all i need to cough <clears throat> saying that <clears throat> so yeah and there's not like massive amounts of cough that needs to come through and it's 100% changed it. It's just absolutely amazing. So I highly, highly recommend my own crystal necklaces, if I do say so myself. So I definitely feel like it's going to be a lot of flow for you guys. It's going to be really, really beautiful. And this love partnership is just going to, oh, it's just, I, got, I feel like you guys are going to be really, really happy. If you guys aren't even looking for a love partnership, this can be friendship, this can be some somebody who really helps you and changes your life. And I feel like they're going to completely change the way things have worked for you. I feel like this is going to be on a different level. And I feel like this person is going to really love animals as well. But whatever this is, this person is going to be mo most likely a mystery. You're most likely not going to know who this person is. I feel like they're going to be someone new or somebody you didn't expect to be that person. 
And they're most likely going to have water or, yeah, water in their chart. I'm feeling water, earth and air. I'm not feeling so much fire. Maybe. Oh, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say all the signs because I feel like it's not really kind of dependent on one certain sign. Sorry, guys, I was adjusting you a little bit. I didn't like the angle that it was at because it kept shaking against my chair. So hopefully it's fine now. Okay, so I'm going to have a look into each separate month. So we're going to start off with March as we are already in March. So this is going to be... Uh, relating to this month so i'm just going to shuffle live because then we got all the all the cards come out so we've got justice beautiful so i'm going to just clarify this with another card okay is it coming out really quick wow ace of pentacles okay so let's have a look at april beautiful queen of wands strength lovely these are really gorgeous these combinations Okay, you guys have really been working on yourself. I'm really seeing that. Let's move these over. Okay, May. Let's get one more for May. Sometimes it takes a little while to come out, guys, so bear with me on that. And then let's have a look at June. Well, that came out real quick. Beautiful. This deck is so big, like it's so hard to shuffle sometimes. Okay, let's get one more. Let's see. Come on card, there you are. Right, I'm gonna move these cards up a little bit so you guys can see, obviously it's gonna be covering these ones but I want you guys to make sure you can see these cards properly so it's definitely communication from somebody look out for doves especially in the month of uh, March April, especially in the month of May and like pigeons or doves because I feel like this bird here is really like calling to me ironically because they call to each other okay so the energy underneath for spring is going to be the four of cups okay so this energy is going to be quite random they're saying it's like you possibly going to feel like things aren't changing and then boom they suddenly change it's going to be like a massive difference and you're not going to see this coming okay so that's really really gorgeous so in terms of this situation let's have a look and see what's going on so let's have a look at march first so we have justice and we have the ace of pentacles so this is really really lovely this is all about you getting what you deserve getting what you have been giving out so you guys have been planting the seeds, maybe you planted them like, I don't know, a few months ago, a few years ago, you've just wanted something that's solid. And I do feel like for a lot of you it's going to be more to do with money than anything else in the month of March. It could also just be um, your own uh, recognition about something, you're getting recognised for what you've been doing, you're getting um, the recognition for where you, what you've been putting in. And there's going to be somebody also you, you, that's going to be helping you, help you to uh, gain justice for what's going on. Um, this this person could also just be you. This, it could be just you coming into your own and being very happy with where you're at and being very comfortable with where you've been and where you're going. And I definitely feel like there's some sort of growth here. There's a growth of being connected to nature. I feel like that's really going to help you to grow. But also you guys are getting back to your authentic roots and being really authentic about yourself. And you're not having to compensate for anyone else or having to change who you really are. And it's interesting because we have one cup that's lit up and the other cup isn't. I don't know if you can see that, guys. It's like one cup that's got like a little light here and the other one is dim. So it's almost like there's a part of you that still needs to be kind of worked on. But I feel like this is just going to be a very natural process for you. Um, and I feel like it's going to be really, really beautiful. Okay. It doesn't have to be work. It can be various amounts of things. But I do feel like it's mainly to do with work. So let's have a look at the Queen of Wands then. And let's see what's coming in for this baby. We have Queen of Wands and Strength. So for a lot of you guys, as I say, it's definitely about recognition of yourself, both sides of you. Knowing that you're a fierce, boss-ass woman or man, and you can really kind of be that beautiful person, okay? Um, there was a... Yeah, there was that message that's coming through earlier. What I've been shown here is this little tiny spider on this woman. And I was kind of had an epiphany about spiders, and I was thinking... Why do so many people hate spiders? And a lot of it is to do with their shadows because spiders represent shadow. They represent that side of you that is kind of, you don't want to look at, you know, and spiders reflect that because they're about the, the, 
the darker parts of you, you know? So it can be that you're accepting those parts of you that you haven't really looked into, yeah? They're, they're the parts of you that you don't really want to look at, that sort of thing. And you're really being kind to them like you would a lamb. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to get a new animal in the month of um, March, April, in the month of April. So for a lot of you guys, you are really planning out your life. You're really working towards your goals as well. For some of you, it could take a bit of strength, maybe because you have to put in a bit more effort or you have to get out of your comfort zone. But I don't see it being anything too bad, okay? So that's beautiful. And then in the month of May, we have Seven of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. You guys are really progressing. There's something new coming in in the month of May. You may be kind of debating which one is the right path for you, but once you find it, you're going to be really, really happy. Um, I don't feel like you're going to be debating on this too long. You may actually be debating on it now and then you actually make a decision in the month of May. Um, I do feel like it could be to do with some sort of... It could be to do with a connection with somebody, but I feel like it also could be to do with um, a certain direction in your career or work. You know, it could be at school. It could be a certain project you want to do. You don't know which one to do. It could be like as small or as big as that, you know. So in the month of June, we have the Six of Wands and the High Priestess. So this is really beautiful. This is you completely being ultimately happy. You've really kind of connected with where you're going. Your path is very much open to you now and you really, I'm hearing you're seeing the light um, and you're not blinded by anybody's kind of actions or anyone's, the way anyone thinks about you is not bothering you anymore. And you're much more comfortable with who you are. You're much more happier with who you are and you feel like you can be a free woman or man. You know, it's genderless, guys. When I say free woman, I don't mean just literally woman. Um, a free person. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it could be to do about your identity and how you see yourself. It could be literally about your gender. It could be about you changing your name. It could be the way you dress. It could be something like that. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, your intuition is going to be on point with the with this. And with six and two, they could also be numbers for you to look out for. And it could be the number eight also. So a lot of you guys, you're really looking into being performers, actors, actresses, singers, that sort of thing. Um, and you're getting some sort of kind of premonition about it and understanding, okay, is that where I want to go? Um, and it could just be absolute recognition and just being very comfortable within yourself. I don't see any sort of issue in any of the months, which is beautiful. I feel like... I feel like where you're going, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've done the work. So I don't feel like there's any sort of issues that need to be kind of addressed. I feel like it's all extremely positive. I feel like for you guys to look out for the colour of pink and blue, I feel like that's very, very prominent for you guys. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I hope this resonates. I'm going to pull you a number for you guys. What number for you to look out for? Number six, as I said before. And um, also from the Astro Dice. Okay. We have Gemini ninth house we also have saturn saturn gemini in the ninth house that's beautiful so for a lot of you guys it's about you expanding your communication as those communications already come through so for a lot of you guys i feel like it's understanding how you how to communicate and being really for like forthright with your communication and how you express yourself it could be something to do with a seeing career it could be to do with um yeah just being authentic and not holding back on where and holding back on yourself and also I feel like for a lot of you guys if any of these animals are resonate with you then keep that in mind we have a deer we have an owl a bird a especially specifically a bluebird uh, or a blue tit you know whatever you want to call it we have a husky we have a little white cat we have a squirrel a spider and a butterfly so I feel like for some of you guys it could be extra messages for you so I really hope you enjoyed this detailed reading and if you would like to please subscribe down below if you haven't already also, if you'd like to check out any of my jewellery, the website will be up soon. But if you want to support me, you can donate uh, from the link in the link down below. Or you can just follow me on my jewellery page on Instagram, which is at crystalcreationsco underscore. Thank you so much. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming for you guys in spring. So let's start off with the astrology cards. We have Uranus. That's beautiful. Definitely going to be a lot of expansion for you guys. A lot of expansion. Oh, let me put that there. I didn't realise we had two cards. Revolution. And we also have the second house of assets. So this can be material world, possessions, finances, all that kind of jazz. Okay, so we then have... Write a gratitude list, number 55. Floor write. 
unfinished symphony, a lot of pavel going on, and we also have communication. That's so interesting because group number one had communication, but in a different deck, so that's really lovely. So there's definitely a lot of communication coming in. So um, I don't know if Gemini is going to be ruling any sort of planets or anything really specifically in the next few months, but Gemini is normally about communication and things, so I do definitely feel like that's going to be coming in very, very strongly, okay? So in the terms of spring, we're going to have a look into each month specifically in just a second. I feel like for you guys, you're going to be ending a cycle 100%. I really feel like you guys are going to be ending a cycle. Um, and then you guys are going to be being more kind of understanding with your material possessions. As in like you guys are probably spending more or spending less. Um, and the way you spend is going to be completely different to how you've been doing it so far. So I feel like it's going to be more about you spending more because you have that money coming in or you're spending less just because you're saving up or you're just being more kind of understanding about how much you're, yeah, how much you're spending. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be concentrating on the moons and the way the moons are as well, um, or getting a new tattoo or both. Um, for a lot of you guys, as I say, there's going to be a massive revolution, a breakthrough, um, and I'm not sure entirely what this breakthrough is. It may be to do with your intuition and your intuition coming forward, but whatever this is, it's going to be massive and you're going to be really thankful that it happened. It may come in the form of something quite intense and possibly a little bit harsh, but at the end of it, and once you've gone through that, it's going to be really, really beautiful, okay? Some of you guys could always all, already be feeling this or have already gone through this. Um, and then now you're in the space of now I feel very grateful. I feel very happy with where I am. I feel like, yes, I can really do this now. And I feel very, very grateful. For a lot of you guys, I feel like it could be family members that are really messing you around. I don't know why I got that, but I feel like that's coming through. It could be siblings or something. Um, and you're just really just kind of trying to ground yourself in that situation. So um, let's see about the, so let's see about March first. Let's see about March. What's happening with March for group number two, please? Okay, beautiful. Oh, wow, look at this card. That is so stunning. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is so stunning. I love that. So we have the star. Let's see what else we have for March. Let's clarify that. Seven of Wands. Okay, so... April. We have the Tower. And the Nine of Cups, uh, so definitely a revolution going on. So if it's not this month, it'll probably be next month. But I feel like it's going to be absolutely beautiful, guys. Some of you could be moving house. Some of you could be exiting the premises, breaking up with someone. But I feel like it's overdue, guys. I feel like for a lot of you, I'm not predicting that you guys are going to be breaking up if you're in a very happy relationship. This is for those of you who need to get away from that person. Yeah. Or breaking away from, like, feeling restricted in some sort of way. Let's move these cards up so you can see... Okay, let's have a look at June. Ooh, the chariot, nice. So we have a treasure chest here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, that could be just a sign of wealth coming in and just you feeling like your cup is being filled. Three of Wands and the world. Oh, no, it's the Empress, never mind. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, she's so beautiful. Love that. Okay, so underneath the deck we have the Eight of Wands. So for a lot of you guys, damn, you guys are moving fast. A lot of you guys could be fire signs or have fire in your chart, <clears throat> or just be acting like fire signs where you're like, go 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 go, like yes, now my now all my external stuff is happening and the internal is like, it's 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 moving. Okay, guys, it's moving. So. This month of March, we have the star and we have the seven of wands. So this is really, really beautiful. This is about things coming in divine timing and you just feeling so freaking happy about it, okay? You guys have been waiting so freaking long for this thing to happen, whatever it is, and it's really starting to cultivate, okay? I feel like you're going to feel very relaxed this month. I feel like you're going to feel very content and happy and like nothing can touch you. And I feel like everything that you've been working forward towards is going to be is going to end up profiting you in the best way and whatever is meant for you is going to come to you okay guys you're not going to be you're not it's not going to be withheld from you and for some of you guys you could be buying crystals you could be um having a reading from a tarot reader an intuitive a medium that sort of thing as well uh could be me you know i don't know <laughs> but it feels like that with that ball and i feel like for a lot of you guys you're imagining things 
um, to be absolutely beautiful and those things are actually going to come true. So for a lot of you guys, it could be a dream that you've always wanted. I don't feel like the dream could be happening in March, but it's going to it's gonna be going through with this year, okay? <clears throat> so we then have the Tower and the Nine of Cups. This is stunning. I love this. So whatever is meant for you will, will come to you, as I said. But there's definitely something that's being shaken up and you're like, yes, finally, effing freedom. You know, I'm so free. I can do whatever I want. I feel like I can really rule the world. I feel like, yes, I've been waiting for this for such a long time. Whatever this is, you've been waiting for it for a long time. You've been really waiting for it. Um, I feel like for some of you, I'm hearing in just hearing expansion and yes, I'm free. I can do this now. Um, it may just be that you're breaking up with somebody. It could be you're free from a situation. It could be mental clarity. It could be that you're finally getting the thing that you really, really want. It could be a partnership. It could be a friendship. It could be a job that you've always wanted you know i just feel like all your cups are being filled i really really feel that and it's just like ultimate fulfillment yeah beautiful absolutely stunning i definitely feel like it could be more to do with work um and career but you know it, i feel like it can be to do with anything really that makes you feel good what you ever you've been waiting for so this is really interesting so for the month of may we have the devil and page of cups so these this is represented by two guys and we have another guy or woman, whoever this is, kind of up there in the ethers. And we have like this little kind of heart. There's two people making like a heart with their fingers, with their hands. So I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you've got a love coming in in the month of May. Obviously, it doesn't have to resonate in this particular month, guys. Just take it as it resonates. But this person is very much different to anyone you've been with. They're very, very sexy, but can also be really, really innocent. They could have Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces in their chart or Cancerian or, yeah, so basically any water sign or Capricorn or maybe Aries is what I'm picking up on. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, all the fixed signs is what I'm picking up on. Um, for a lot of you guys, if you've been feeling like your heart has been opening for the last few months, you're correct. That's what is happening. If you've been feeling a little bit breathless, if you've been feeling like your heart, is like you feel more, you need to take more breath. I feel like for a lot of you guys that's paying off this is this who this is coming in i feel like for a lot of you guys it's you waiting for that thing and it's coming in and you've been asking for it guys you've been asking for this person to come in and they're here so if you guys are single and wanting love you're definitely going to get that okay for some of you guys you could be meeting um another obviously i'm not saying you have to meet a, a male it doesn't have to be like that for a lot of you guys you could be um resolving your i'm hearing sexual trauma okay so this is only going to be for a few of you guys but if you have had trauma to do with intimacy to do with sex that sort of thing i do feel like you are going to resolve that and i feel like that you're going to feel much more content with who you are and you're going to be able to express yourself in any way you feel i feel like you've been restricted for such a long time and you haven't been able to express yourself i feel like you're going to be able to do that and if you are in a committed relationship, I feel like you're going to have a very intimate month and you're going to be able to, as I say, express yourself in a way where you feel good and your communication is going to be beautiful as well. So for the month of June, let's see what we have. The Chariot, uh, Three of Wands and the Empress. We have three, seven and another three. So this is you moving forward. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be um, moving. You could be moving house, moving country, moving state. For a lot of you guys, you could be moving where there's water. I feel like for a lot of you guys, if you're a, if you're a water sign, you could be really looking out for the water. There's a lot of water here. I feel like that may be water there, there and there. So there's definitely a lot of water. Um, you could be moving in with a partner. This is also you guys possibly wanted to do some traveling and wanting to move far away from possibly your own uh family home this is the first time you may be moving house that sort of thing so it's very new but i feel like you guys are really gonna feel really good about it and there's an element of i've always wanted this could some of you guys you could be pregnant in the month of june or you could be trying for a baby a little bit before that also um for a lot of you guys you could even be going on like a surfing holiday or somewhere where there is just expansion and freedom i feel like it's like I'm hearing like Hawaii, so somewhere where there's a lot of kind of greenery, it's very beautiful, very tropical, um, maybe even Thailand or I'm also hearing feng shui, so for a lot of you guys you could be working on feng shui, that could be a job that you're doing, it could be something you're just working on as well, but I definitely feel like your money situation is going to be like really really good in the month of spring, I feel like it's very much um, going to be uh, very positive. I feel like it's in increasing and 
I feel like for some of you guys, you could be spending a lot of money on more like lavish gifts or like lavishing yourself with gifts, like expensive things, uh, possibly buying a new car. For some of you guys as well, you could be um, feeling more secure and comfortable. And for those of you who are looking into kind of changing like your wardrobe, possibly um, getting a new health regime, that could be that as well. Maybe you've possibly lost a lot of weight or you've gained a healthy weight, so you feel like you can uh, wear clothes that feel more like yourself, you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's that sort of thing when you feel more comfortable within your body or you've gotten to a weight where you're just very happy with it and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, treat myself with some new clothes or something like that. I don't know what this is here, but I'm really looking at it. Is this head scarf or a scarf? It looks like a head scarf because it's kind of rounded for the head. So maybe you guys could be wearing different head scarves or buying a new head scarf, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's have a look and see what number you should be looking out for in spring. We have the number six. I feel the need to roll that again. I don't feel like that's your number. Got number one, there we go. So you guys are really kind of starting a new start. Okay, let's see what we have for the planets. So we need to like really, really shuffle these. Okay. So, oh, beautiful. Okay, so we have the seventh house. We then have Libra. Ooh, oh, actually that moved to Scorpio. Do we, do we still want Libra? We still want Libra. Where's it gone? Where have you gone, Libra? Oh my God. There you are. Okay. Right, stay. <laughs> okay, we have uh, seventh house. We also have Libra, and then we also have Mercury. Oh, beautiful! Right, so you guys are definitely going to be getting into a relationship. Some of you. This is relation. This has got relationship written all over it, because <laughs> Venus is about love, Mercury is about communication, and seventh house is always to have relationships. So beautiful you guys are really balancing out your karma to do with relationships also so if you guys are in a bit of a rut with a relationship or you're single and you don't like it it's all going to be balanced out i feel like for a lot of you guys it's going to be around may time that's going to happen march or may i'm hearing i feel more to do with may than march but you know whatever resonates with you guys so i really hope you enjoyed this if you'd like to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm also doing um crystal recommendation necklaces and crystal jewelry I haven't got an official website up yet, but if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, uh, it is at crystalcreationsco underscore. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, please feel free um, to contribute towards my jewellery shop. That would really, really help me out a lot. Uh, or purchase private reading, you know, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And if you don't want to do any of those, that's totally fine. Um, yeah, and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love, group two. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming for you guys in spring. We're also going to look at this in detail. So let's have a look at your astrology cards first. We have first house of the self. And then have Capricorn. Let me just move this up here a little bit. And then we also have the card of flexible. Oh, I've never got this card before. This is a very new deck for me. So I've never seen that one before. Lovely. Number 19. We then have environment, individuality, tourmaline smudging. We then have pleasure and connect with crystals, number 11 and number 40. So this is really beautiful. So for you guys, I feel like you've got quite a few mixed messages, as in like you've got different messages. So just bear with me because this might not really resonate with everyone. Sorry guys, I need to burp. Uh, clarification that it might not resonate with everyone <laughs> so for a lot of you guys you're working out who you are that's just kind of a given here we've got the house first house of the self and we've got individuality so a lot of you guys are really figuring out who you are you're figuring out who you are at your core you're changing pretty much changing yourself in a good way you're very much uh I'm hearing blending in your environment. So you guys could be much more comfortable with where you're at. I feel like you guys are becoming much more comfortable with where you are, where you're at instead of looking forward to the future or looking in the past. You know, you're becoming more present with your own energy. And we have 11 twice. So I definitely feel like 11 is going to be a really good number for you. Also 44 and 1. And we have 40 and 44. So it's definitely an element of feeling really, really stable, very much beginning a new cycle. Um, and for a lot of you guys, it could be connecting with your pleasure center. So, you know, doing stuff, you know, helping yourself. Um, 
And I do feel like this could be to do with your own sexuality. You could be resonating more as a, a man or resonating more as a woman, you know, resonating as a different gender. Um, you could also be just enjoying yourself, you know, you could just be more connecting with your own self and what you enjoy. And that could be crystals and that could be intimacy, you know, whatever you feel is the most um, accurate for you. And we also have flexible. So for a lot of you guys, you could be becoming more flexible, you could be exercising more um, and becoming more flexible with life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, I'd say you're becoming more centered, you're becoming more aware of your own environment and <clears throat> you're becoming more kind of yeah, in the moment, you're becoming more calmer. I feel like you're not really stressing out as much and you're really letting go of a lot of things that don't serve you anymore. You're kind of releasing all that no longer serves you and you're becoming more of a boss in your life. You're becoming more of like the forefront. You're not like sitting back and letting people like judge you or anything like that. I feel like you're becoming more happy with who you are and you're becoming the boss in your own life. I feel like with this boss card here, this is really about you feeling very um, authoritative in your life, very disciplined, and accomplishing things that you didn't think you would have accomplished a few months ago or even a few years ago or even like last week you know <laughs> um and for a lot of you guys you could be changing up your environment you could be moving house you could be painting i feel like some of you are going to get new pictures on your walls um so this flexible card it could also mean that you are experimenting and i'm talking intimacy okay guys so you know if you're of age that's what i'm talking about um it could also mean that you guys are where you're becoming more comfortable with who you are you're able to handle life a little bit better you know you're not getting so overwhelmed um and not to say that's a bad thing guys you know some people will just get overwhelmed <laughs> aka me being a sensitive one that i am um it's it's really about just yeah letting things flow as they are and knowing that wherever you are in this, in this space right now is where you're meant to be you know as much as that is annoying especially for me as a fixed sign <laughs> it's like Oh. <laughs> but no, it's going to be fine, guys. I really feel like this is very, very positive. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be connecting a lot with crystals and a lot of your work life. Whoa, that was quick. Don't want them. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look for the month of March then and see what's happening for March. Okay, so Pentacles, beautiful. I feel like Group 1 had that as well. Yep, Group 1 had this too. So this is beautiful. So very similar to Group 1. So if you resonate with this and you want to choose another group, Group 1 is, is the place to be. So let's have a look at April. This guy wants to come out. Hangman, lovely. Let's see what else is happening for April. Four of Swords, beautiful. Let's have a look for May time. I like these two. King of Wands and the Emperor, lovely. Beautiful fire sign energy coming in. Lovely. And then let's have a look for June. Yeah, it's right. March, April, May, June. Okay, <laughs> just for a check. Right, also, let's see what else. Okay, I've got two cards for that. Eight of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Okay, the overall message is the four, which is absolutely beautiful. So, new start. Feeling really excited about where you're going. And she's holding a crystal, guys. Guys, you're really connecting with crystals. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful. And mandalas as well. I feel like mandalas are very... Um, strong for you guys. You also have like, you know, sacred geometry. So if you guys might be looking into that, you might be researching it a little bit more. Right, so let's have a look for the month of March then, where we're in at the moment, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, we have Ace of Pentacles and Justice. Okay, so we have one a lot of times. Okay, we have zero, we have one, 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 one. <laughs> There's a lot of ones here. So you would definitely starting a new cycle. For a lot of you guys, you could be starting a new job. I feel like for a lot of you, you're, you're working in London. Obviously, that's not going to resonate for everyone. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be commuting. So maybe New York, you know, a certain city where you're like commuting and going back and forth. I feel like you guys are going to be doing that. Um, for a lot of you guys, you're going to be meeting someone unexpected in the month of March. Um, possibly like a future partner. Somebody who really changes your life and makes you feel like, what the, what the F? Like you wouldn't have expected this. I'm getting really sweaty hands, so I feel like you're going to be quite nervous when you meet this person. I'm getting really sweaty feet as well. Sorry if that's too much information, but you guys are really connecting with somebody and they feel really, really good. For a lot of you guys, um, you could be experimenting with makeup as well and you're you're letting your inner, inner most darkest secrets start to flow out, which is beautiful, okay? It sounds really scary when I say it like that, but I mean like you guys are actually like expressing yourself and things are coming out 
of the woodwork that you think oh god but it's actually really really good okay because you're releasing stuff so your inner your inner most your, your inner personality that you haven't let come out for a long time or ever that is starting to come out as well and you're feeling much more comfortable with who you are as well i feel like some of you guys have touched you're touching your face uh i don't know why that's a significance but i feel like possibly to makeup you guys are wearing makeup um experimenting with makeup there's definitely some sort of new start there and you're feeling like you've got more courage and your money's gonna be really good in may and um, sorry in march really 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 good it could also be in may as well you know okay so but things are balancing out guys you're getting what you deserve and what you have been waiting for a long time for so for the month of april the hanged man and the four of swords so number four and number six or one two could be very significant you are basically in a little bit of limbo i feel like for some of you guys you're feeling quite relaxed about it though you are pretty much just enjoying life for some of you, you could be feeling a little bit like stagnant or just waiting for something for others of you you're in it you're just in it and you're feeling pretty happy about it and you're feeling pretty great okay i don't know what she's got on her i think oh it's wow it's like flowers that's so beautiful i thought it was dirt but she's got like flowers all over her you guys are really in a growing phase as well in the month of april you're really kind of being who you are and feeling very content about it you're not letting anyone judge you for some of you guys you could be making jewelry so holler at me if you're making jewelry because me too um <laughs> so let's have a look for the month of may we have the king of wands and the emperor so we have two men who kind of look a little bit similar i'm not gonna lie they kind of look similar and they have both have red shirts on so you could be meeting somebody who like looks the same as somebody possibly already dated or yeah i feel like oh this is interesting some of you guys you could be meeting somebody in a random place and then you meet them again somewhere else and you're like um are you stalking me or you know or am i crazy and what i'm a batshit crazy um but for a lot of you guys you're gonna be meeting somebody on an eclipse or a full moon um or when the sun is like in a very like prominent place this person most like most likely gonna be a fire sign let's put out there that's that's coming through very strongly or a water sign here with the king of cups um, but this person is very, very strong-minded. There, yeah, it could have a choice of two guys as well, or two people just in general. So if you, I don't mean to say just for guys or just for females, but um, if you're a female or you know if you're interested in guys, I do feel like that it could be a combination of two people, or somebody you're going to really learn off of. Somebody you're really going to learn a lot from, and very wow, they're very sexy. I feel like this person's like got a massive sex appeal here. He's like boom, like I'm coming into your life. And it's going to be beautiful. This person's very mature as well. I feel like this person doesn't play games. You know, it's funny I say play games. We have chess piece here, but I feel like this person's very much in control. I feel like they don't like to play games. They are very comfortable with their with hearing with their sexuality. So this person, I feel like, is just going to be very mature. I feel like, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. And this person's like a king. I feel like they've got very strong fiery energy they like to control situations as well so for some of you guys that might be something you like or something you don't like you know take it as it resonates so we have june king of cups eight of cups five of pentacles so we have someone coming in um and you're and this could be this person from the last month who makes you feel very content and therefore now you're walking away from something that no longer serves you because this person's made you realize something um, it can also be that this person is walking away from something that no longer serves them and, and, and it's good for you as well because it makes you feel a lot more comfortable. Um, it could even be like somebody's with somebody and then you're like, I won't go with you until you leave that person and they do it, you know. Very random. It could be just for that one person who's watching this. It doesn't have to be for everyone. King of Cups, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are releasing a lot of I'm here like releasing your ex as well. My spirit is tingling my nose so bad. Uh, but you're unlocking something that you haven't looked at for a long time. It may be quite scary, but I feel like it's nothing to be that afraid of, guys. I feel like it's nothing to really be scared of. It just may seem a little bit terrifying. For a lot of you guys, it could be leaving your commitment issues behind. You know, you could want be wanting to commit. And therefore, you need to really look inside yourself and really meditate and see what's going on. But I feel like this isn't, isn't going to be anything too bad. I just feel like it's something that you just need to really look at. And, you know, whatever is meant for you will be there for you. So let's see what we have from the dice. And let's see what number is coming through for you guys. What you need to look out for. 
Number three, beautiful, so creativity, love that. It could be your number as well, your life path number or something like that. Oh, okay. Sorry guys, let me just grab this. Oh, leaf is in the way. Okay, so we have Libra, we have, oh, number three again, third house. And we also have um, Pluto, sorry guys, I forgot. So we have Pluto, we have Libra, and we have the third house. So this is really, really beautiful. I feel like this is really, really positive. This energy is very, very much loving. It's very loving. I feel like you guys are going to be really, sorry guys, you have my finger click, um, very expansive in your love life. I feel like you're going to be very, very comfortable with who you are. Um, and yeah, your creativity is going to be absolutely booming. I feel like you guys could be pregnant in one of these months but I don't feel like that's only for a specific few of you it's only for those of you who are trying for a baby I feel like you're going to be successful and it could be um it could be a Libra baby as well I don't know how that'll work but yeah be in September or August I'm not sure about it but some of you guys could actually just be pregnant <laughs> some of you guys could just be pregnant right now um but that's only for some of you guys who are you know aware that you're pregnant it's not going to be a surprise or anything um, some of you guys are just hearing the angels are looking after you and the fairies are, are watching you and they're, they're here for you. Oh, sorry guys, my throat just did a weird thing. Um, and if you guys are trying to catch your breath or feeling quite breathless, then just really look after yourself and not get too kind of down about things. If things aren't working out for you, everything's going to be fine and it's going to all work out for you. Okay. But you're getting balance, you know, we've got the justice here. So you guys are really gaining balance and um yeah everything's gonna be fine so thank you so much for watching if you would like to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please do so down below if you'd like to uh, get a private reading all the information is in the description box down below and i'm also doing crystal jewelry if you'd like to check that out then i haven't actually got a website at the moment but if you want to check out my instagram for it it's crystal creations co underscore i'll leave it down below or on the screen here and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye Hello group number four, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming for you in the months of spring. Let's see, let's start off with the astrology cards. We have the fourth house. We have the moon, lovely. We then have not for you. That's not for you. <laughs> we then have uh, Larimar, water, ocean, throat chakra, moderation clear your energy field and burning bowl ritual <laughs> okay this is this is tea okay this is gossip okay so for some of you guys you're letting go of somebody and you're really like letting them go you're really needing to clear your energy you're really needing to like release them um if this doesn't resonate for you guys it just it might not resonate this is feels very specific some of you guys are releasing something or being stopped towards something stopped going towards something the universe is stopping you towards something because you're all up in your feelings about it and you're not feeling comfortable with it and the universe is like nope don't go there so if you're if you're stopped by something if you're stopped and you can't you can't go towards that i feel like you're gonna you're gonna know so if you feel like you've got a lot of roadblocks if you feel like you've got a lot of a lot of your time is like taken up by like nope don't do that nope can't go there and it's always like stop 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 don't do that I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is gonna, this is this is basically the um, indication that things are basically on their way out. So there's something here that you are releasing, and it could be something to do with communication, it could be to do with family, um, but it feels like something you're having to be moderate, moderative. I don't know if that's the word, but you're having to have moderation about it and to basically m limit your time with something or someone. Um, but whatever it is, there's something that you're clearing that's not for you anymore. It could even be just your own emotions. It could be something that no longer serves you anymore. And the universe is like, okay, we've really got to look into it. And therefore, it's going to cause you quite a lot of emotion to come up. But let it come up, guys. Let it come up. Don't don't push it down. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be learning about your roots. I really need to burp. sorry guys you could hear that um you guys are learning about your roots and you're becoming more possibly even more comfortable with your family or you're possibly having to move away from family um for those of you who none of that resonates i feel like for some of you guys you could just be having like a burning bowl ritual if that's something that you want to do um and you could be kind of looking into sage if you haven't looked into it already or incense sticks 
something like that okay so um okay let's see what else we have so let's have a look for the month of march Right, this justice guy has come up so many times in the reading. So, especially in the first month, so that's beautiful. A lot of you guys are releasing something. Look, we've got a burning bowl. That's beautiful. Lovely, love that. So, for some of you guys, you could literally be clearing in the first month. Okay. I'm hearing just nope. Nope, and it does say nope on this little cookie here, so. Right, let's look into April. Sorry guys, my shuffling is really loud. I'm trying to put it away from the microphone. April, 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 three, four, April. Okay, we have the wheel. Yep, new start, there it comes. Here it comes. May, look for May, I want this guy. I think I like him, Page of Cups. And let's put out one more for May. Okay, we want to, Nine of Cups, the Tower, yep. And then let's have a look for June. Two of Swords. Six of Swords. Okay. So for the spring, we have the Eight of Wands, which is beautiful. Another group had this as well. I can't remember which group it is though. So the Eight of Wands is all about uh, moving forward. It's about adventure. It's like, yes, we're moving forward. We've got new energy. We've got the external starting to like, new things are starting to occur, okay? So in the month of March, we have Justice and the Eight of Cups. So you guys are really understanding what needs to go, what needs to shift, and you are really looking into that. So whatever is meant for you will be for you and you're moving towards something that's much more brighter, much more comfortable. And you're becoming more comfortable with yourself. You're looking at yourself and thinking, actually, is this the most authentic I can be? Or is this the most authentic that, you know, needs to occur? Is there something that I'm holding myself back in? Is there something that's stopping me from being who I am? And it's causing me a little bit of trouble and you may be just really releasing that. And maybe a person, it may be your old self, you know, it could be something as deep as that. I love this wheel. I think this is really beautiful the way it's like got so many like clocks and it's like, yes, bitch, we're really moving forward. Woo! And I feel like dice is really kind of coming in here because we I normally use my dice, so I thought that could be coming in. So it could be something that you don't know that's gonna happen, that's gonna happen. I'm seeing like an old an oh, an elderly man and he has a coin and he's pulling it from a, like a, a child's ear, like a magic trick. And he's showing it. So I don't know if any of you guys had a, a grandparent or a dad who was in spirit who used to do that. I feel like for some of you guys, it could just be a message that your granddad or your dad is around you, okay? So for the month of April, you guys are have been waiting for a new start and it's coming in. You're really, really comfortable with it. And yeah, I don't feel like there's much to say about April. I feel like for you guys, it's just a new start. I feel like it's, you're really, really starting to see the, you're really starting to see things uh, clearly and you're reaping the rewards, okay? You're seeing the seeds that you've grown and they're starting to appear. This is where the tea happens. So March, uh, sorry, May, we have Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, the Tower. So something has really struck a chord with you. Um, for a lot of some of you, it could be a new partner be a new partnership coming in um yeah it feels like yes i've always wanted this i'm hearing i've always wanted this i've wanted this for such a long time and it's going to be a magical moment it's going to be such a magical moment whatever this is it could be money it could be um a new family member coming in like someone's pregnant it could be uh doesn't i'm not saying you're pregnant i'm feeling like somebody else um unless you want to be pregnant then maybe not it's not going to be a surprise pregnancy guys just putting that out there uh, for you guys, I feel like it's almost going to be like this person's going to drop out of the sky because <laughs> this person has is like dangling their legs. I don't know why they have this in this card. I don't really get it. Maybe it's like when pigs fly. I don't know because we have got a little pig and he's got little wings. Um, but it does feel like this, this new person coming in is like somebody you didn't expect to come in. There's somebody completely new, not someone you already know. I don't feel like maybe somebody you already know. Maybe someone you see a lot, but you don't really recognize them as a partner. Or somebody who could be a potential partner but 
you guys i feel like something could be happening to your house that causes you to move but i don't feel like it's something really bad i feel like it's something you've been waiting for and then it finally happens maybe something legal as well so in the month of june we have the two of swords and six of swords so this feels like quite dramatic you know compared to all the other groups oh sorry compared to all the other months this feels dramatic um it could be that you're suddenly realizing something about yourself and you're needing to really move away from that um the eight of cups feels more genuine and more comfortable and slow and like progress this feels like a sudden like oh shit i'm having to move away from it i'm having just to tune in and see what this is let's have a look I feel like it's to do with your own emotions. I feel like it's the way you see yourself is going to possibly going to be a little bit of trouble. Maybe a little bit of, I don't know. I feel like it's something to do with the way you see yourself. I'm hearing you don't have to be the ideal person. You don't have to be a perfectionist. That's only for some of you, I feel like. I feel like some of you guys, you put so much pressure on yourself. Um, maybe there's a new start and it's actually overwhelming. And maybe it could be this new person coming in causes you to feel anxious because... This is somebody you didn't expect to come in. They're so amazing. It's like, oh my God, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to everything being so perfect. That can be for some of you. It can be like commitment issues coming up. It can be, you know, but you're going to get through it, guys. I'm going to pull you one more card for this for the month of June. One of these two. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're going to feel really good afterwards. It could just be something that you're just working through, okay? Nothing to worry about. So that's probably why you've got a lot of options. You may be feeling like, I don't know which option to choose, and if I choose it, will it be the right one? You know, don't worry about it, guys. I thought you are worrying too much. Um, and then we have the Emperor, where you, you, you're making a decision and you're going to feel fine about it. It could be, like, options where it's like, oh, I don't know whether to leave my job, you know, that sort of thing, you know? And it could also be that something is so stable, it freaks you out, you know, because you're so used to things that may be toxic or uncomfortable that it freaks you out, you know, but you're going to feel much more happier with this, okay? So let's see what number you should be looking out for. Oh, number two. So it's going to be a new partnership coming in. It's going to feel much more happy. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> um, and yeah, balance and stability. Let's see what else we have. Okay, beautiful. So we have the, is this a south node? I think this is a south node. Let me just, yeah, south node, second house, Gemini. Okay, so with the south node in Gemini, your north node is going to be Sagittarius. So this, is, this makes me feel like you guys are going to be much more sure about yourself. Okay, you're going to be much more sure about yourself and you're going to be more expressive with who you are you're going to be spending i feel like spending more money on yourself like possibly you may have spent more money on other people or you may have not had that much money i feel like you're going to feel like you can actually you can actually spend more money and the gemini rules travel and familiar faces whereas sagittarius is more kind of global and more larger scale so i feel like you guys are actually expanding your roots and possibly moving somewhere that's quite far away from you that you didn't expect uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what you guys get. If you come back to this reading, I, I would love that. I think that's just, that would be amazing. So I think yes, you guys need to push yourself and take risks. Um, yeah. And for those of you who uh, have Gemini South Node, some of you uh, may be gifted with be, being like a craftsperson, like really crafty, a musician, a writer, or a hands-on healer. Okay, so that's just some extra messages for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, all my information is down below. If you'd like a private reading, same thing, down below in the description box. And if you would like to check out my crystal jewellery, I haven't got a website yet, but it's in the making. And if you'd like to support me, then the donations link is down below. I really, really appreciate it to help me get my shop up and running. And also, um, if you guys would like to help me with my jewellery my, uh, journey, then please uh, follow me on Instagram at Crystal Creations Co underscore. So thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye guys. Hello group number five. Thank you so much for being here. This feels so alien having a group number five. I don't know we have group number fives, but here we are. So let's see what is going on for you in the month of, of in the months of you know March, April, May, June. And let's see. So we have energy work, flow like water, 
and peace oh beautiful so a lot of watery kind of calm energy i love this, this is so beautiful okay we then have semi sextile the sun and cancer fuchsia wow you guys got a lot of cards i didn't realize fuchsia derptas and bloodstone healing direction detoxifying and then we also have manifestation that's going right in the middle so for a lot of you guys you're going to be manifesting a lot of new things you're going to be manifesting peace and you're really learning to flow um with with the tides you'll learn to flow with things and you possibly may be starting to do energy work within the next few months um and there's definitely a lot of you guys connecting to your femininity your feminine energy doesn't matter whether you're a man or a, or a female you know we all have feminine and masculine energy and you're really kind of allowing things to be as they are and you guys are really going into a gorgeous time where your heart is very much open and you're very connected with your heart and your feminine energy which is really really lovely some of you guys could be cancer sun or have cancer quite strongly in your chart but your heart's really at the forefront at the moment i feel like you guys are redirecting yourself with your heart and uh, whenever you feel really stressed out i feel like it's important for you to go towards your heart and be very like you know really focus on that so with this semi sextile allowing you guys are kind of letting yourself as i say let things flowing let things flow and i have a spirit guide in here it just walked in um it's a ladybird <laughs> it's a ladybug so i don't know if any of you guys are connected with ladybugs but i have a spirit guide of a ladybug coming in so that's nice um so maybe that's a sign for you guys we also have 22 23 and 24 which i literally just noticed as i was saying it that is stunning like <laughs> I could not make this stuff up. I really couldn't make this stuff up. So you guys could be a water sign. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are a water sign. But you're really healing your heart. You're going towards, you're like releasing everything that no longer serves you. Releasing everyone who has really done you wrong. And you're just like, bye, goodbye, don't need you. And then we have the direction. You're going towards something that really suits you now. You're really going towards things that are like, boom, going towards it. No one's going to stop me. Here we go. You guys could also be going on holiday to somewhere where there's a lot of water. Um, or some of you guys, you could be like scuba diving or something like that. It could be an element of you guys growing out your hair really, really long. Um, yeah, but I feel like there's a lot of water. Something to do with water that's really coming through. So, beautiful. Let's have a look and see the different months. So, uh, sorry, this is loud. Go look for the month of March first off. Beautiful, Knight of Swords. Four of, four of Wands, what I said, Worlds, what I said, Four of Worlds. Right, April. Take those three. Have a look at this a second. Have a look for May. Shuffle this way, I said. Look for May. I really don't like those cards actually. Sorry guys, I'm gonna take those away. I'm gonna do April again. Oh no, she wants to come out. Okay, so Empress. Oh, we have the Hierophant and the King of Swords. Okay, May time. The Sun. Ace of Swords. And then June. Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups, Page of Cups, The Emperor. Okay, this might look like a mess. Sorry guys, I will clear it up soon. We have the Three of Pentacles. So you guys are working hard and you're really gonna reap the rewards. You're gonna find people who are your tribe in the next few months. Sorry, that was just with the camera. You guys are gonna feel comfortable where you are. You're gonna feel much more stable. You're gonna find people who are your tribe. Yeah, definitely gonna find people who are your tribe. Especially for those of you who are female, want to be like a female friend, or you resonate as a feminine, I feel like you guys are really connected with another person. So, you might feel like you're rushing in the month of March. They're telling you to slow down, okay? You're going towards your passions, but you don't need to rush. You don't need to hurry. I feel like you may be hurrying. You may feel like you need to rush, but honestly, guys, you don't have to do that. Everything's going to be completely fine. Um, so, with this Knight of Swords, it could be somebody coming in with communication. 
but there's somebody from your past who I don't feel like you're going to be very happy with talking to. So I feel like you're just literally going to be like, ew, bye. I don't feel like you're going to be very comfortable with that. It could also just be an air sign <clears throat> that makes you feel really good. You know, it could be, you know, various different messages for those of you. But they could actually be very stable. You know, various messages for each people. Take it as it resonates. We have the Empress, number three. Hierophant, number five. King of Swords. Oh my God, look how beautiful this card is. That is beautiful. Look at him. He's like, he's a, he's proper sexy. He's like, oof, yeah. Oh yeah. He's got all the dark animals. That's beautiful. He's got like the crow, the bat, the owl, dragonfly, maybe. I don't know. Okay. So for you guys for the month of April, you're really coming into your own. You're feeling really, really happy. And this person who was here in the month of March could mature and then you actually come into a relationship with them because you realize actually they're a really good person. Because it's interesting how we have the crow here and the crow here, and this person could literally be maturing, you know, and they come back as someone who's really, really mature. It could also be two different air signs though, but it could just be somebody also with a very strong, bold mind, and they're very logical, and they're really sexy. They, they know, they know, they know, okay. I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, right. It's very late, guys. It is, what's the time now? It's like 10.41 at night, so... Okay. Right, words, Vicky. Sorry, guys. They know who they are. Very, very, um, I say very sexy energy. So when I say sexy energy, they just know who they are. They, they're really confident. They love you for who you are. And they see you as somebody, like, look how he's looking at this empress. He's really looking at her, you know? So there's gonna be something where you've been working yourself really hard and this person's gonna love you for who you are. It could be a fire sign also. And you're just really enjoying yourself. You could also be pregnant in the month of April or you could literally be pregnant right now. Um, yeah, only for some of you guys. That's gonna be for those of you who are expecting a pregnancy, just to let you know. So we have the sun, 19, and the ace of swords. So this person's really gonna stimulate your mind and you're gonna feel like you can really be yourself. This month anyway, if you're not looking for somebody, I do feel like you're just going to be yourself. You're going to feel like yourself and you're going to feel free to express yourself. It could be a new project that you're starting and it could be like, well, there's actually quite a lot to it and you get quite overwhelmed. But I feel like it's just going to be, it's, it's going to be fine, guys. But it's definitely an element of the crow here. So you could be uncovering something about yourself that you didn't realise you had or you didn't realise that you did. And for some of you guys, you could be wearing like a nose piercing. You could be getting a nose piercing. I'm hearing your tragus. Tragus, is that the right word? That bit between your nostrils, I feel like you could be getting pierced. Um, and for some of you guys are really enjoying the weather, it could start to be really hot, depending on where you are on, on, in the world. Obviously, maybe it's hot every single month for you, all the time. But for those of you where it isn't so hot all the time, it could just be really, really beautiful. You could just be really enjoying the sun. And you could possibly be meeting a Leo, but I feel like you're passionate about something and you're really creating that, very, very creative. So in the month of June, very, very busy. We've got quite a lot of men going on here in this group. Uh, Page of Cups, the Emperor, Nine of Cups and Seven of Cups. So you've got options this month. And funnily enough, I said we got a lot of guys. You may have a lot of males coming towards you or, you know, females. You've got a lot of people coming towards you around this month. So it doesn't have to be like men. It could just be people. And you're really happy about it. You're just really content. And we have the snake here. So it could be somebody who's a Scorpio. It could be somebody who's gone through quite a lot. But it's funny because... There's also like a little tail here and a bat wing. So it feels like we also had the bat with this this guy here in, in April. So you could be uncovering more about this person that you've met. <clears throat> and um, you're deciding they're very passionate, they're very happy, they're very like, um, I think persuasive. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, you're just really, really happy. You've got a lot of options. <clears throat> it's funny because you've got the seven of cups and the nine of cups. You're, you're very happy with these options, you know. Um, and this person, I'm hearing at the drop of a hat, so they could come to you at a drop of a hat. They're very supportive. Um, <clears throat> your relationship with yourself is going to be really beautiful. Your emotions are going to be really nice, and they're going to be very flowy. Um, and you're going to be very like head first into things. The way you um, approach a project is going to be head first. So you're going to be like, whoop, tripped over into a new project <laughs> again. Oh, silly me. You know, like you, you're just. It's going to flow really nice. Your creativity is going to be beautiful. You're going to be building stuff like you're really going to be thinking about things you want to build, things you want to accelerate in these little um, little ladders. And there's like a, a, a castle that's being drawn. I don't know if you can see that guy. So I'm really looking into like intimate details here. 
like here with a little castle absolutely beautiful guys but there's something to do with this planet here i think mars this might be mars i think mars is the red planet so if i'm wrong guys please correct me in the in the comments below um but i feel like you guys are just feeling more free and with these like um uh, she's barefooted so she's really like she's she's proper free you know she's like woo um uh, don't need don't need no shoes um <laughs> i'm getting that song um the song that goes hey i put some new shoes on suddenly everything's right Okay, so sorry about my singing, but I feel like that's coming through as well. Or you're like, bah bitch, don't need my shoes anymore. <laughs> don't need my shoes no more. Uh, but this person's really, really well dressed, whoever this person is. Um, you could know somebody who's just very good at dressing themselves. Um, and Mars, I feel like he's very, obviously very committed, very, like, as I say, head first. So very action orientated. You're going to be doing a lot. You're going to be doing a lot. Very, very packed month for the month of uh, June. So let's see what else we have. See what number is coming is going to be something you need to look out for. Number four, very stable. Perfect. Love that. That's a really, really good sign, guys. I feel like that's very, very positive. Okay, so let's have a look at your... Um, let's have a look at the... Sorry, guys, I can't get my words out today. Let's have a look at your uh, astro, guys, and see what's coming for you. Okay, so we have Libra, the moon, and we also have the third house. So as they very creative, very beautiful... Um, you definitely are uncovering something about your your emotions and it's something to do with balancing. Balancing your emotions and I feel like creativity is going to be really, really good for you. I feel like creativity is going to help you to balance your emotions and it's going to um, help you to understand yourself at a much deeper level. And the way you see relationships is probably going to change in the next few months. It's probably going to be much more comfortable. You're going to feel like don't need anyone. And then someone comes along, you know, as it, as they do. And you're going to manifest a lot. You're going to be manifesting a lot. And as I say, we've got this Cancer here as well. Cancer rules the moon. So I definitely you could have Cancer moon. You could have Libra moon. Uh, you could have the moon or Libra in your third, in your third house. Um, if you want to check that out, just go to a birth chart calculator on Google. There's definitely something deep you're figuring out about yourself and you're feeling much more free. You're feeling like I can really express this part with this um, cry out. We have like the little like symbols. We've got like a little infant infinity symbol and things like that. You're really like understanding yourself and you're like on the ball. You know, you're really kind of figuring out who you are and you're understanding yourself at a very deep level. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below. And I'm also uh, doing some crystal jewelry at the moment. If you want to donate towards um, my brand, that would be amazing. I'd love that. You don't have to. But if you would like to, the donation link is down below. And also, if you'd like to follow me on my crystal uh, jewelry Instagram, it's creations, cr sorry, crystal creations co underscore. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.